I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'm here installing my show. What a slight, what a sound, what a universal shudder. I grew up in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, or outside Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and um, I went to Temple University as an undergrad and Yale University as a grad student. But it's my first large, extensive solo show in Europe. I trained as a photographer, you know, and I and I used photography for a long time and made had several shows. Um, but I, I just kind of lost my interest in it. The first collage I made actually was a card for somebody. I had to make a birthday card for somebody, and I had um, ads that were coming in the mail, and I just quickly made that. And then I thought, oh, I like this. I think I'm gonna make make some more things out of this. It was because also I had run out of money. I couldn't, I couldn't do photography because I was using a four by five. I couldn't afford the film. I couldn't afford to get a process. And I didn't want to be in a position where I could only make work when I had money. I wanted to be able to make work all the time. So I just started to work with what was around. So the studio that my friend was letting me use for free was downtown. And when I would drive downtown, I'd see these very brightly colored posters, Colby posters, which is something that you still see in Los Angeles. Seeing those posters over and over again, I thought um, that it might be interesting to take these short phrases that I was extracting from Tender Buttons and How to Write by Gertrude Stein um, and just put them on, on posters and staple them to, you know, uh, telephone poles around, or wherever they were, that's where I, where I ended up posting them. If if I wanted them to be up longer, I'd get a ladder and I'd put them a little higher. <laughs> the film is called With It, Which It, As It, If It Is To Be, which of course is more Stein text. <laughs> and it's um, about 20, women artists, two of those people aren't necessarily women identified, they're sort of gender non-binary, but were born women. Um, they're friends that are from New York and Los Angeles working in their studios. Um, and there's a there's an audio track of about six or seven writers and artists reading a text called Many, Many Women by Gertrude Stein. I think, I think that was like a push to try to like honor people's practices, of like people's working pra art practice, to sort of look at somebody while they're working, I think is the, be is, is the sort of most respectful way to look at a person, you know? Um, because normally when, when women are represented, they're represented like naked, or it's all based on their looks. It's not based on their looks. It's, in this case, it's based on work, or like physically making something. And even when you see a per artist's work, you don't see them physically making their work and I I learned so much just from making that because I got to see my friends doing things that I didn't know they did charming that one is one being one being almost completely feeling in being almost completely charming you you walk around the bend and there's this large collage which is similar in that it it's every title that Gertrude Stein ever wrote so it's like a totem to her words and her work and um we were kind of trying to organize that yesterday and put it in an order. Owen and I, so the, the titles are just so great. Just the titles alone are just, they're so original and some of them are so funny. And just like, I, I really enjoy that reading that piece, you know, just like her, her words. And there's a text on the floor that will take you out of the film that is text from the film. And that text also continues into the next gallery in a painting in a blue painting that starts, I think it starts one she is kissing then or any one she is kissing then. Um, so that, and then that is that text is also in the print upstairs. So the, the, there's a repetition within the show, which is a reflection of what Stein did again. So things repeat. And, um, so yeah, so this friend of mine has a record label, label and he asked me to um, if I wanted to make a record, and I and I knew that I wanted to make 
you know, I'd wanted to make a recording of Miss Fern Miss Skeen because it's a really short text. It's perfect for like one side of a record. And um, the word gay is used 136 times. And so she made the word gay mean gay, you know, like sexual orientation. To be gay. And then we're then being gay, being quite regular and being gay. I had a little time to think about the other side of the record and I, th I did a little research to try to find out where, what the origin of queer was in terms of like sexual orientation and it also comes from Gertrude Stein. In 1903, um, she wrote a, a story called QED, which was a narrative story um, about three women just graduating college and there's kind of like a love triangle. And at some point, the word queer is used over and over again to describe one of the characters, Adele, who is actually Gertrude Stein. Um, and her friend is saying, you know, you should meet so-and-so because she's queer and you're queer. And she uses the word queer at least six times in that, in that paragraph. And it didn't necessarily stick when she used it, but it's, according to the internet, it's the first known use of that word Tr you know, trying to make it mean gay. So, so on the other side of the record, QED, part of QED, because QED is a longer text, is read by six or seven, seven friends of mine um, in parts, and um, that'll play in the gallery, I think four times a day or something. They'll, they'll flip the record. She was gay there. Always she was gay there. Right now, there's a billboard that's up... Um, not so far away, maybe it's half a mile away. It says, what a slight, what a sound, what a universal shudder, which is the title of the show. Um, and then there will be 14 40 by 60 inch um, posters that, are, some of them are bus shelters. Um, and I don't know exactly, they'll, they'll be, appearing in Dundee between now and August. So the book that I made at Hospital Field um, is a book of collages, and that's how I work through ideas. I usually take read and take notes, and then I'll write down things that I want to make collages from, and also I'll have a notebook with a list of things that I want to make. And then I asked Owen to bring me some art for magazines from DCA, which he did, brought them to me at Hospital Field, and then I um, used the studio there and made made a book. Um, it's in the show, and I guess they're going to turn the page once a week or something. So most of the most of the book will be visible at some point. In the case of the new paintings, there's three new paintings in the show. The the paint is car paint and then that screen printed on top so it's there's there's only one of each painting but it's like a it, it is a reproducible um, object in a sense that's not been reproduced but it's related to the posters in that way because the process is related the, the, pro, the posters are letterpress and the paintings are screen printed and then and then the vinyl is also related because it's a very uh, common easily reproduced way of, of that we see things so there's the there's a neon sign which is also something that in america is very common you see neon signs everywhere and vinyl and screen prints right. yeah so the vin vernacular ways of communication or signage are what i'm trying to use so it's sort of like relatable and familiar so you can look at the work and notice it as something that's familiar to you in terms of the way that it's presented to you. You know, it's like recognizable. And then hopefully people will spend time with the work and read it 